So I am in the kitchen getting ready to go outside and do my chores, but I wanted to get some bread going uh, for dinner tonight. I'm making soup with leftover turkey, and um, so I need to get that bread going so it can rise because it's kind of cold here, so it's probably going to rise for like four hours or something. So I'm just going to make like a basic no-knead bread, and I wanted to show you guys how I do that. So I'm going to set my camera up, and you'll get to see like my process. You won't get to see my beautiful face. Sorry, I don't have a way to set that up, but you'll be able to see the bread making process. So I'm going to set that up, get it ready to rise, and then head outside and do chores, and then I'll come back in and show you how I bake the bread. Okay, so I'm actually measuring things out for you guys today. You should be so proud of me. Usually when I cook, I don't measure. Um, but this is roughly about what I do. It changes every day. So I'm doing three cups of just a whole purpose flour, or whole purpose, an all purpose flour, but you could use whole wheat if you wanted. One, two, three, and then two teaspoons of yeast, and, a teaspoon. um, and then a packet of yeast is about two teaspoons. I have my big, my big yeast, one, and a little bit extra yeast, never hurt anyone. Not like a lot of it extra, just a little bit extra. And then I use about a teaspoon of salt. And then I give this just a quick stir together. Next, I'm going to add in my liquid thing. And I forgot one in the fridge, so hold on. Okay, so... I'll add in two tablespoons of olive oil. Actually, this is optional. Um, I'm adding in about a half clove of like super rough chopped garlic because I like garlic in my bread. And I stir this in and get it coated in the flour before I add the wet ingredients. It's just easier to incorporate that way. Mm, it smells so good, I love garlic. All right, now my tablespoon, I'm, not, I'm gonna measure it. I usually just like pour it straight in. One, two, half tablespoon. You can use sugar, I'm using maple syrup because that's what I have. So I'm gonna do a half tablespoon of maple syrup into here. This just helps the yeast rise. It gives it a sugar to feed on. It's not necessary, um, but I like to give my yeast a little bit of help because I'm at a high altitude and it's winter time. So, make it helpful. Okay, so this next part actually you can't really measure. It changes every day depending on the weather, at least for me. And if you're somewhere more humid, it'll probably take less. So I have warm water, not hot, just warm. Like your skin can stand it, no problem. So I'm gonna add in, I'll start with like a third of a cup about. That's a good starting place for you guys. And we'll start mixing it and see if we get the right consistency. So it's gonna need more today. Yeah, a lot of the times during summer, I need a lot less water. And now that it's winter and extra dry, I'll probably get close to two thirds to a full cup of water in here. So this dough is going to end up looking a lot wetter than what you're used to for a dough, and that's okay. Um, it's super easy, really hard to mess up. Like if you add extra water, like too much water or something, it'll just be a little bit flatter. And we'll add that. I'm using a lot of water today. So I'm using close to a cup of water today for my dough. I might use the full cup. Yeah, a little bit more. I'll just add that last splash in there. So I used a full cup of water in my dough today. But again, like I said, it's super dry. And you could even add more water to this, but this will be just fine. And then this is just going to sit and rise for a few hours. I'm going to cover it with a dishcloth and set it on top of my stove. And it will rise and get yummy. And then I will show you guys how I bake it when I come back inside from doing chores. Okay, so the dough has risen. Let's pull this off. 
You can see it actually just sunk down because I moved it around. So it, it shrunk back down some. It was like up to here around the edge of the bowl. But you know, that happens. So I'm gonna dump this out onto a floured surface. Maybe. Come on. There we go. I have a spatula here. I'm just going to, hopefully y'all can see. Yeah. I'm just going to scrape this last little bit left in here. I'm gonna set that on here and I'm gonna fold it once, twice. I use the spatula just because it's really sticky. Three times. That's pretty good. And then I take it and I form a little ball on this parchment paper that I have over here. And then this is gonna rise again for just a little while. I have the oven preheated at 450 with a Dutch oven in it. Once it goes once it hits 450 I'm going to put the bread the dough ball in the Dutch oven with the lid on and cook that for 30 minutes at 450 and then I'm going to take the lid off and cook it until the top is golden brown that usually takes about 15 minutes but it can take longer so just start checking at 15 minutes all right I just pulled the bread out of the oven here it is all done Hope it's hot. and now the hard part waiting for it to cool down enough to be able to slice it. This is the hardest part of the whole baking of the bread, is waiting for it to cool to slice it. So it's gonna sit here, and then we're gonna have some bread and some soup. Oh, and my Dutch oven there I got from Costco. It was a set of two, like the big one, and then I have, wait, we'll come over here. My tiny one. So if you guys are looking for Dutch ovens and you have a Costco, I believe they still have them there. Don't quote me on it though, but I think they still have them there. So yeah, that is how you make super simple, no need bread. And I'll come back and show you when I slice it, but it's got to cool for like 15 minutes. Otherwise it kind of deflates and then, and then it's sad bread. So now I just have to wait. I really want some with butter. Sounds so good right now. All right. Here is the bread cut. I almost forgot to show you guys. I already started buttering it. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat it. So I'm gonna get this finished and get dinner together and have dinner.